uh, body. I've decided to attach the wire to the body first. Solder it in here. Really good. I just fill up both these holes with solder. But I'm going to solder it so it doesn't move. And it's attached nice and good. And then I'm going to attach that wire to the bottom of the circuit board. Kind of backwards of what I usually do. But it will be easier. For right now we'll just make it kind of ugly. Just get it so it doesn't move. Comprende? Entiende? Hablamos Espanol? Whatever happened to that guy who was watching my videos and was going to translate them to Spanish? Yo vivo en San Diego, en Tijuana también. Este uh, uh, modification a uh, electrónicos cigarros está fácil para mí y fácil para tú. Vámonos. Yeah, I got lousy Spanish. But I get the job done sometimes. So. That's going to go right in there like that. Beautiful. Now, in order for this thing to work right, your two uh, CR123As have got to fit down in there. So I always take a look at them and see about where they are. They're going to push down on the spring some. Uh, but uh, basically they're right there at the top from this end. And at this end you can see this uh, circuit board is barely pushed in there. The negative is attached. I'll straighten up that solder in a minute. At this point you're going to get some more JB Weld. And you're going to get it down in there. There's a... Uh, a couple spots like here well better than that let me just show you I'm gonna put some JB weld around the bottom of this and that way I'm going to cover up these negative connections and it's going to glue it right in together so back to the JB weld
and I'm going to mix up a little JB Weld. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I mixed up my JB Weld. I put some on the bottom of the circuit board. Now I'm going to put some right on top of the electronics. And down in the sides. So it's going to fall right down in there. Make sure you don't get any on the LEDs or the switch where you push it in and out. You can kind of use gravity uh, for some of these parts. And you can make sure that it's just barely down in there. You can wipe any excess off with your finger. Just roll it down in there. You can look down at the spring. It should be right in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfectly uh, perpendicular. You can see where the JB Weld is connecting with the inside of the flashlight. Sometimes I pull it up a little bit and put a little bit more on and then push it back down and then I'll get it nice and connected. All the epoxy. You want the po epoxy to be around the edges on the top, um, underneath, and the bottom of the circuit board so it holds it in there as firmly as possible. Uh, if you get a little bit extra on there, you can go to the sink, use a damp finger, and clean it up a little bit. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, I got my circuit board down in there. As you can see, maybe you can't. The switch and the two lights are pretty much across from each other. You can never get it perfect. None of this is perfect. You got your two wires, your negative off your regulator and your uh, voltage out off your regulator coming up here. I'm going to clip those two now and I'm going to solder on my my uh, atomizer connector and I'm going to put that right in the middle so it's going to be right there. So here I go. I'll be back in a second. Okay now uh, I'm going about to, I'm getting ready to solder on my atomizer connector and uh, again this thing is uh, it's still just in its infancy so you want to be nice and careful with all the parts I don't use the wire stripper anymore I use the lighter it puts less stress on these wires as I'm getting the 